Welcome to my smart side. Today's Tuesday, the 22nd of August. Yesterday, the 21st, there was an eclipse. What exactly is an eclipse? How um, do they occur? I'll be talking about this, which is a topic of science. It is common knowledge that the Earth rotates and revolves around the Sun and the Moon rotates and revolves around the Earth. True fact. The, the side of the Moon that points towards Earth is always pointing towards Earth. Always points towards Earth. The revolution speed and rotation speed of the moon are the same. So the same side of the moon is always pointing towards the Earth. Okay, orbit is the path that a planet or moon goes around. Under Wait. An orbit is a path that a planet goes around a star, or a sun, or a moon goes around a planet. Um... Okay, what you might not know, or you may know it, the... Uh, the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, it's not a square. You know that, but it's not really a perfect circle either. Well, it's almost a perfect circle. The spins are caused by the tilt of the Earth, not that the orbit is elliptical. It's almost a perfect circle. The orbit of the Earth around the Sun, if it was level like this, then, uh, okay, let's just say that's the moon around the Earth. Um, it's about uh, five degrees off. So, um, let's see, how much is five degrees? I don't know. Okay. So you, you took the, the plane that's the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, and then you took that five degrees, and then you get the orbit, or the plane that's the orbit of the Moon around the Earth. And so sometimes the Moon goes I mean Okay, this is too clumsy. Usually when there's a new moon, when the moon is like uh, over here and the lit side of the moon's over here and the dark side is closer to earth, you can't see the moon. Usually, it's not uh, immediately in between the sun and the earth. It's off a little bit. But sometimes, like uh, yesterday, as of this recording, the moon does go in between and there's an eclipse. So the sun is about... Is it 40 or 400? I think it's 400. About 400 times the size of... Yeah, that's correct. The sun's 400 times the size of the moon. And also, it is 400 times for, uh, farther away from the Earth than the moon. So...
so that's why they appear to be the same size. And during an eclipse, it uh, looks like the moon completely covers the sun. And you might see a tiny bit around it, but not much. And it blocks most of the sunlight, or all of the sunlight. Enough of the sunlight to make it seem like nighttime, but it's during the day. And then the moon will move away. The earth is moving, and the moon is moving. That's a solar eclipse. There's another eclipse. There's a lunar eclipse. It happens on full moons. When the moon sometimes gets on the other side. And it only happens during full moons over here, where all the lighted side is facing Earth. But sometimes during a lunar eclipse, or when a lunar eclipse occurs, the moon it may be on the other side, and the Earth blocks all of the sunlight, and you can't see the moon. Or you can see a shadow on the moon. I'm not sure. Okay. I am too far north to see a total solar eclipse. I finally saw, saw part, uh, a partial eclipse where where I was uh, uh, when if I went farther south the moon would look like it would completely cover the sun but where I was it was a slightly different angle and the moon did not cover the entire that I saw. Whenever you are watching a solar eclipse, if you're not in the zone of totality, which means where you are, you can't see the moon completely cover the side of the sun facing Earth, the entire time you need eclipse glasses and make sure that, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay, look, you can see there. Okay, there's a caption on Movie Maker pointing to it. That right there. Make sure it says that. And um, there's a ISO 12312-2. That means this is, these are safe glasses. Never look at an eclipse without feet, unless you're in the zone of totality and the moon is completely covering the sun. In that case, you can look at it without these. But uh, when the moon is not completely covering the sun, then you need these to look at it. Looking at the sun without these, these block 99.99% of the sunlight and the sun produces so much light that uh, it could damage your eyes if you look at it especially a long time especially during an eclipse and this blocks most of the light so then there's just light trapped it because a little with these it allows only just enough light to get through that will not damage your eyes there are other ways to see the eclipse without those glasses in their projects. Um, maybe a different video. Well, there are plenty of uh, tutorials online where you can create a box with a hole and then you, um, like a tiny hole on one side, the sunlight goes through and then do like a white sheet on the other side that it gets projected onto and the box is closed except for like a, that tiny hole and then there's a a bigger hole that you can look through and see the projection and then the dot of light and then it'll get covered. 
Okay, if you learned something new, click the like button, and if you want to learn more things, click the subscribe button, and you will learn more from me next time.